But yes, girl, <laughs> this is her. This is the new belly. Hey you guys, so in today's video, I am talking about my three week as well as my month, one month post-op um, for my hernia repair as, as well as my tummy tuck. So at the three week mark, today is Saturday, I officially became three weeks as of Thursday. The only two things that have honestly changed, um, I'm gonna back up my camera so I can kind of show you guys what I'm looking like. This is looking good at three weeks, but okay. So one of the things that's new is my Faha. So originally in my last video, my two week update, I talked about having a large Faha, like I ordered in a size large. Now, the problem with the large was that I had a lot of space on both sides here and a little in the back, like back here, it was a little like poked out. So I ended up, I still wear my large when I'm washing my medium, but typically I am a size medium. So that's currently what I have on right now and now I can honestly say that it is very tight. I am only, like as you can see, I'm only on the the first little hook out of all three and I'll definitely be going over to the two. But when I tell you guys my stomach has, I'm going to show you, but my stomach has flattened a lot. I did not have a lot of fat. I'm going to try to insert a little picture here. I did have a little bit of a stomach at the bottom and when I would sit down it would go over my underwear. Um, so it was enough for me to think that I had a faha, so I didn't have a lot of skin, but when I was sitting, it looked like I did. Or when I wore a tight dress, I could see a little bit of bulging right here in this area. Now, I'm going to try to show you guys the best that I can, and then I'm going to take this faha off. But with my faha, I don't know if you guys can see, this is what I'm working with, which is a flat tummy. I am still very swollen in like the top of my vagina area along with like the lower half of my belly. Um, but overall, I'm looking pretty good. In my last video, I had tape, maybe insert a little picture. I had put tape on this side because in the beginning of surgery, I don't know what happened, but I had on a waist trainer, which is what my doctor put me in, and it left an indent on this side, like a deep, like whoosh indent on this side, and this side was just normal. So my girl who does my massages, she taped me up on this side, but for whatever reason, it didn't work. So I've just been trying to compress, wear my compression garment, um, those lipo foams that I showed you guys in the last video, I'm using those. Um, I'll put it on with my large Faha just because I don't want to stretch out this one. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well. But for the most part, the swelling is going down. And I think overall I'm looking pretty good. Um, one of my differences between my last video and my current video is that I'm currently belly button training. My belly button was very scab, scabby, disgusting. Um, the scabs have completely fallen off and I noticed my belly button was becoming a Audi, a any Audi and I was like, oh no, 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 no. So what I did was I went and got these. So these are actually um, earplugs that you put in and my belly button isn't super deep. So what I do, my hands are not clean, so I'm not even going to open it. But what I do, typically it comes like this, long, just like that. My belly button's not that deep. So what I do is I cut mine. Like as you can see right here, I cut it and I place that in my belly button and leaving this outside part, the circle part, like push it in like, like a plug. And then I take my gauze tape because even though the scabs have fallen off, I'm not quite ready yet to do scar training, scar recovery, whatever, whatever it's called. I'm not, I haven't started that yet. So I am still using my gauze tape. So I take my gauze tape. I take my ointment I'm still using my ointment so I'll take this with a q-tip put a little bit you know over my belly button I'll take my earplug pop that in and then I will take my gauze take and cover it up and then take my tank top right now I have on a tube top because I'm washing doing laundry but I'll take that and then I'll tape it over and then put my tank top on and take this on and right now I currently have one in so I'm gonna show you guys Hey guys so I pulled my pants down but I left them up where you can't really see my scar quite yet because again I'm not comfortable showing it yet yet but I will show you guys so this is my belly button 
So I'm sure as you can see, this side's, this was the side that I overly indented somehow, some way. I have no idea what I did, but this is that side. Once I work out, <laughs> this is going to be looking bomb. So I'm not even going to worry about it too much, but like this side is not as indented. Like it's kind of weirdly indented. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll work out. It'll be fine. But I want to show you guys my belly button. So like, I don't know if you guys can kind of see through it. But I have one already in there right now, like one of the earplugs. So I just pop it in there, tape it up, and then pull my tank top down, and that just is what it is. My stomach is very flat for the most part, but it is still very swollen, and it is kind of like still very swollen hard down here, around here. Um, when I turn to the side... <laughs> this is what I'm working with so again very flat it looks pretty good um the sides a little weird but I definitely that's it wasn't my doctor I did not get any sort of lipo we only focused on this area and it did not look like this until I did something weird because I would turn my waist trainer had like these hard pieces in it so I would turn it so that the hooks were not straight on my belly button and I would turn it this way so I don't know if the way I was sleeping girl who knows but it is what it is. So yeah, this is what we're looking like. So at three weeks post-op, we are now belly button training. We are not doing the scar tape yet. We are not working on um, the coloring of our scar because I still have some scabs down here um, on my scar. So I'm just giving it time to just heal. I have my next appointment with my doctor on the 17th, which will be in two weeks. So by then, I definitely think I'll be able to start lightening my scar, but we're just taking our time going through the process. I'm still taking the pills that I was taking in my last video. I'll link those things down below in case you're kind of interested or, you know, just head back over to that video. But yes, girl, this is her. This is the new belly that, you know, we're working with. And um, yeah, I'm going to hop back on and kind of finish up this video with my one month post-op if anything has changed. But as of now, this is what we got. And I'm loving the results. I actually tried to go out last night without my Faha and wear, you know, a cute little dress. When I tell you, it was very uncomfortable. Like, obviously you're eating, so you're going to become bloated. But I think my stomach has gotten so used to being sucked into the Faha. Getting out of it made my, my body so uncomfortable. And I was like, we got to go. We got to go because I need to get back in the Faha. Period. Like, my stomach was just bloated and I just felt like when I got up like this was me trying to walk and it was just so painful so uncomfortable so I've learned my lesson we are not outside yet we need to stay inside stay in our faha keep it cute we're still no drinking no sexual activity if you know you're maybe questioning any of those things but yeah I just think right now continue to heal because my results are more important than being outside okay